Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI Tour Review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new DC TV, the Flash TV Series 7 inch Kid Flash and Flash Season 3 figures from DC Collectibles. Now, both of these come in window box style of packaging. You've got the figures clearly displayed. Down below, you've got the Flash TV Series logo, and off to the side, you have the names of the characters. For Kid Flash, this is number seven in the series, and the Season 3 Flash figure is number six. And then on the sides of the packaging, for Kid Flash, we have an image of the figure. And for the Season 3 Flash, we have an image from the actual TV series. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at all the figures in the wave. So besides the two Flash figures, we also get White Canary, which I reviewed the other day, and the Atom figure, which I'll be reviewing in the next few days. Then down below, it tells us Kid Flash was sculpted by Chris Dalleberg. Sorry if I mispronounced that and the Season 3 Flash figure was sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. All right, let's get these open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside of the packaging along with the other contents. Now, first of all, let me just say a big thanks to the folks at DC Collectibles for sending me these figures so I could review them for you guys. Now, the Flash figure is out at comic and specialty shops now, and the Kid Flash figure will be out in a few weeks, early November. Okay, so I'm going to start off talking about the Flash figure, the Season 3 Flash figure. However, I'm actually not going to spend a whole lot of time on this figure. And the reason for that is this is the exact same figure that we got last year in the 2-pack with the Arrow figure. They called it the Season 2 Flash then, but it is the exact same figure. And I will say that if you're going to get this figure, and it's not a bad figure, but if you're going to get it, I would recommend that you go with the 2-pack version, which is still available at places like Big Bad Toy Store. Technically, it's going to cost a little bit more money because you get two figures in the set, but you get a lot more for your money because not only do you get the same Flash figure that has the same accessories, the three different pairs of hands, but you also in the box set version get an unmasked head sculpt with the figure, which is not included with the single pack version. And then you also get the Arrow figure, which is probably the best Arrow figure that they've done in the line up until this point. So again, if you're going to get this figure, I would highly recommend that you go with the box set version. Now, I reviewed the box set version a while back. I'll put a link in the video description below. So if you want to see more on this figure, go check out that review. Okay, now switching over to the Kid Flash figure, which is a brand new figure that we've never gotten before. This one, I think they've done a pretty good job on. Now, for accessories, you get three different pairs of hands. So you get the pair of closed-fisted hands, which are attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging. And you get a pair of open hands, the standard flash running pose type hands. And then finally, you get a pair of grip hands. And these are very similar to the hands that, you, that come with the regular flash figure. The paint is a little more red on these than on the regular flash figure. But again, they are very similar to those hands that you also got with the season three flash. And switching out the hands is easy. You just pop off the hand. You got the peg on the hand and the hole in the arm. And then you just plug in the hand you want to replace it with and it should pop in nice and tight. And then besides the multiple pairs of hands, you also get two different head sculpts with this figure. You get a masked head, which is what's attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging. And I think both head sculpts do a pretty good job of capturing the actor's likeness from the TV series. And then with the masked head, I like the sculpting detail with the little lightning bolts on the side that are done with the red plastic. And these do stick out a little bit from the ears, so you do want to be careful and not catch them on anything because you could possibly snap them off. They don't stick out that wide, so I don't think you really have to worry too much about breaking them, but just use a little bit of caution when you're handling the head sculpt. And then I like the stripes. You got the red stripes on the side of the mask, and I think the skin tone is good. He's just got black for the hair. And the eyes look pretty good on this one as well. They could have maybe given him a little more emotion in the facial expression, but again, I think they actually did a pretty good job of capturing the actor's likeness. Now switching out the heads is easy. You just pull off the head you want to replace. Now with this one, the entire neck piece comes out because with the unmasked head, you get an unmasked neck. So you're actually pulling out the head and the neck on this one, but then you just pop in the, the head that you want to replace it with and it pops in and fits nice and tightly. And then this one is the unmasked head. And again, I think they've done a pretty good job of capturing the actor's likeness from the TV series. I like the skin tone. Again, he's just got black for the hair and the eyes look pretty good. Looks like he has kind of brown eyes and the ears are sculpted pretty good. So overall, even though again, I think they could have maybe given him a little more emotion in the face sculpt, I think they've done a pretty good job of capturing the likeness. 
Now for the rest of the figure, I think they've done a pretty good job with sculpting and paint applications on it. You've got this yellow coat that looks like it's actual leather, which is nice. You've got the flash symbol on his chest and that's actually sculpted on there. You've got the maroon color with the white and you can see the actual zipper on the coat. So I like that detailing. And then you've got the maroon stripes on the side and on the back. And I like even how like you have the wrinkles here on the back of the figure and you got a little bit of wash. So again, giving it that kind of leather look. And then with the gloves and the pants, you've got that maroon color and they match nicely. And again, you've got some wash mixed in. So it looks like the pants are leather. You got the belt with the yellow on the belt. It's actually metallic gold that they used on the belt buckle. And then a nice sculpting detail down the legs, even on the boots, you've got some sculpting detail on there and some wash effect. So I think overall they've done a pretty good job of capturing the look of Kid Flash from the TV series with this figure. So this figure stands about six and a quarter inches tall. And here's a comparison with the season three Flash. And honestly, I think the Kid Flash figure is maybe a little bit on the tall side. You can see these two are almost the same height. The regular Flash figure is maybe a hair taller, but in the TV series, I think Kid Flash is a bit shorter than what you see here. Here's a comparison with the DC collectible zoom figure and reverse Flash figure. Here's a comparison with the season one Flash figure and the most recent Arrow figure from the two pack. And finally, here's a comparison with the DC Legends of Tomorrow Firestorm and White Canary figure, which I reviewed the other day. So for articulation, it's pretty much on par with what we've seen with the other figures in this line. So you can turn the head to the left and to the right, and he can look down about that much. Really can't look back very much though, and can pivot the head to the left and to the right. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder, so you can get his arm out about that much. He's got good rotation there at the shoulder. He does not have a bicep swivel. He does have rotation at the elbow, and then he's got the single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow about that much. And then you've got rotation at the wrist and hinges on the hand, so up and down movement with the hands. He does have a midsection joint, so you get some rotation there at the midsection. And really can't crunch down though there or look back very much at the midsection. Really just have that rotation. Then he also has a waist swivel. Legs are attached with those ball joints so he can do the splits about that much. And then he can get his leg forward about that much. And he can do his leg out and back about that much. Does not have a thigh swivel. Has a double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. And then has hinges on the feet, so up and down movement with the feet. And he does have ankle pivot and one peg hole on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my review. So far with the season three flash figure, like I said before, if you're gonna get this figure, I would highly recommend that you get the two pack version. You're definitely gonna get more for your money with that one. As far as the kid flash figure goes, I think overall this is a pretty good representation of the character and how he appears in the TV series. He is a little bit on the tall side in my opinion, but I like the sculpting and paint applications. Articulation is decent, it's not fantastic, but it's pretty much on par with the other figures that we've seen in this line. So if you've been collecting the other DC TV series figures, this is one you'll probably definitely want to check out. Now the Season 3 Flash figure is available now at comic and specialty shops. The Kid Flash figure will be released in a couple of weeks. You can pre-order it now at places like Big Bad Toy Store. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below and like the video if you're so inclined, I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.